In a previous video, we had to combine the two layers of the Steve artwork into a smart object to bring it through successfully into this montage. And in doing so, that smart object has protected all the original content that's part of the Steve artwork. And you can see here, the symbol for smart object tells us that as well. Let me show you what would happen if we didn't have that as a smart object. I'm gonna make the layers panel a little bit taller. I'll click on that layer. And then I'm going to drag that layer down to the new symbol at the bottom. So your, your cursor has got to land right on that new symbol. And that creates a copy of that original layer. Now I'm going to right click on that name and I'm going to choose rasterized layer. So that will remove all of its smart object superpowers. And it just becomes a regular layer. I'm going to call that pixels and hit return. I'm going to hide the original smart Steve layer. Make sure the, uh, the copied one called pixels is still active. And now go to edit, free transform. I'm going to pin the top middle handle in here of the bounding box, this one just here. And then I'm going to change the scale to a teeny tiny 1%. And there he is, whoa, in the sky, floating away at 1% of his original size. If I go up to the top, and click on the tick to apply the edit because that is not a smart object that is now a permanent edit. I now have to live with the impact of scaling Steve down to that tiny size. If I try to undo that work, well, I can go to edit and I can choose free transform, get the bounding box again. And if I change the scale, now it's gonna have to be something ridiculously big. Let's say 8,000% let's go for 10,000, 10,000 to make it look anything like the same sort of size as he originally was. Clearly Steve is now looking a little bit worse for wear. If I click on the tick, that just looks really upsetting. And I'm sure Steve would agree. So that is why you would want to protect your smart object layers. When you have an, a, a layer that's that has been protected in a smart object, you can scale it down, scale it back up again. You do not lose the quality. It is stored inside of that smart object. So let's just get rid of Steve's pixelated doppelganger. Turn on the original layer and repeat the same thing. Edit, free transform, change that to 1%, click on the tick, edit, free transform. Notice here, the subtle clue is that it knows that it's 1% of its original size. But if I change that to 100, well, he goes back to the size that he was when he originally imported into the document. All that is still there. It's locked inside that smart object. Now, I think I set that to, what was it, 48%? Let's go 49. I'm feeling risky. And then click on the tick. I can always make sure I've got my move tool active and then just move Steve a little bit into position. So there, happy with that. But we haven't lost any quality. So if you do need or you believe you need to edit your Photoshop layouts and juxtapose things a little bit, every time you make an edit, you will lose a little bit of quality. But if it's in a smart object, it is protected. So that's one of the uses for it.